Hey guys, this is Johnny and in this video I'm going to use inverse kinematics to rotate the player's body towards the aim direction. I'm also going to create some camera animations paired with inverse kinematics to create the shoulder changing and leaning mechanism. So first I'm going to add a skeleton icon node on the skeleton of the player and call it spine icon. Then on the V node of the camera system, I'm going to add a position 3D node and call it spine icon target. I'm going to select the spine IK and set the root bone as spine 1 and the tip bone as spine 3. You can see the player has 3 spine bones like this. I'm going to set the target node as the spine IK target node. So when I press the play IK button, you can already see moving the IK target moves the player's spines. So when the player is aiming and the V node is rotating with mouse controls, the player will look towards the aim direction like this. To adjust the body curve, you can move the IK target a little upwards and see if it looks ok. So in the code, when we are going into the aim state, I'm gonna start the spine IK here. And when we are going into the not aiming state, I'm just gonna stop the IK. Also, I'm gonna remove these lines from the previous project as we don't need these anymore. You can see the player is bending towards the aim direction when I'm pressing the aim button. But when I release the aim button, the bones are staying on the last pose. To fix this, I'm simply gonna reference the skeleton of the player and call the clear bones global pose override function when we are going into the not aiming state. So now the player goes into the initial pose after the IK has stopped. But when the player is crouching while aiming, the neck bone is bending backwards because in the crouch animation the player actually looks a little upwards. We can fix this by forcing the player's neck to be always looking straight when aiming. To do that, I'm simply gonna add a blend 2 node here and call this neck front. And I'm gonna add an animation which is the T pose of the player and connect this here. I'm gonna enable filtering and enable the neck and head bone of the player. In the code, when we are going into the aiming state, I'm just going to set the blend amount of the neck front 1 and in the not aiming state, I'm going to set it to 0. So now you can see the neck bone is always straight when aiming. So now I'm going to add some camera animations for the aim system. For that, I'll create a new animation player and call this cam animation. I'm also going to create another child node of the V node and call this pivot and put the camera and spine neck a target under this. I'm gonna animate this pivot node for the shoulder change and leaning mechanism. As we can animate the H or V nodes because they move with the mouse controls. I'm gonna retarget the spine neck and in the camera script, I'm gonna modify the path for the reference of the camera. I'm gonna move the V node a little upwards and this is gonna be the camera position for host state. I'm gonna add a new animation called Holster and create keyframes for translation and rotation of the spine IK target. I'm also gonna play the IK for now to see the changes. I'm gonna create another keyframe for the translation of the pivot node. We only need to animate these three properties for the shoulder and leaning animations. So now I'm gonna duplicate the Holster animation and rename it as Shoulder Right. I'm gonna move the pivot on the right side a little bit and move the spine IK target the exact same amount on the left to straighten up the player, as we only need the camera on the side. I'm gonna press the keyframe button to update the keyframes. Now I'm gonna duplicate the shoulder right animation and rename it as shoulder left. I'm gonna reverse the sign for the x-axis on the pivot node and the spine IK target's translations so they move to the other side. So this is how the shoulder right and shoulder left would look like. So I'm gonna duplicate the shoulder right again and rename it as lean right. I'm gonna reposition the IK target and move the camera slightly and update the corresponding keyframes. I'm gonna duplicate the lean right and rename it as lean left and reverse the X positions and the Z rotations. Of course, you can play around with the values for your own project. So now I'm going to create another animation called aim and I'm going to animate the translation and fill the view of the camera node. 
At the end of the animation, I'm going to move the camera a little closer and decrease the FOV. In the code, I'm going to use this animation to move the camera back and forth while aiming. We also need two more animations for the standing and crouching states, so the camera moves down when crouching. For this, I'm going to animate the translation of the cam root node. For standing, I'm going to use the current position and for crouching, I'm going to move this down a little bit. As the clip camera simulates physics inside the editor, I'm going to temporarily disable the collision mask and move the cam root node downwards and set the keyframe. So now I'm going to add another animation tree for the camera animations and call this one cam anim tree. I'm going to set the cam animation node as the anim player and I'm going to create a new animation node blend tree. I'm going to activate this and here I'm going to add the holster, crouch and stand animations. I'm going to add a blend 2 node and call it crouch stand which I'm going to use to switch between crouch and stand. And here I'm going to create a blend space 1D and call this shoulder weapon. On the position 1, I'm going to add a lean wide animation. On the position 0 0.5, I'm going to add the shoulder wide animation. Similarly, on the position minus 0 0.5, I'm going to add the shoulder left animation. And on the position minus 1, I'm going to add the lean left animation. I'm going to blend these two nodes with a blend 2 here and call this holster. And here I'm going to add both of these blend 2 nodes. If I set this to 1, each of these ones can be layered with any of this. This formation looks somewhat like multiplication. The holster can work with both crouch and stand, and the shoulder and leaning animations will also work with crouch and stand. The blend position for the shoulder weapon will have these four values for each of the animations. You can see this also works with the crouch animation of the camera. As we didn't use the values of the camera FOV and translation anywhere in the animation tree, we can use the aim animation directly from the animation plan node. So now I'm going to add three more inputs, Q for shoulder change, C for lean right and Z for lean left. In the code, I'm going to create three more string variables for the node paths in the cam anim tree. And here I'm going to create another variable called shoulder target, which is going to move among the four values I specified. In the input function, if weapon blend target is 1, which means the player has weapon, if the shoulder change button is pressed, I'm going to multiply it with minus 1. This way, shoulder right becomes shoulder left, and leaning right becomes leaning left, and vice versa. And here if the aim transition is 0, which means the player is aiming, and lean right button is pressed, the shoulder target will be 0 0.5 if it's 1, or else it will be 1. This way, if the player is already leaning right, pressing the lean button will make it shoulder right. And if the current state is shoulder right or shoulder left or lean left, this will switch it to lean right. I'm going to do the same with the lean left button with negative values. Down here in the not aiming state, I'm going to assign here 0.5 multiplied by the sign of the shoulder target. So if the player is in not aiming state, this will force the player to go to the shoulder mode on the current direction of the camera. In the bottom of the code, I'm going to lerp the holster node towards the weapon blend target. So if the player has no weapon, the camera will come to the center. I'm going to lerp the shoulder node towards the shoulder target for the shoulder camera and leaning mechanism and the crouch stand node towards the crouch stand target so the camera goes down when the player goes to crouch and goes up when the player stands up. I also added three more color rectangles for the shoulder change and lean buttons. So now you can see without the weapon the camera moves to the center and as the camera is currently on the right shoulder pressing the lean right button just toggles the animation between lean right and shoulder right. Pressing the lean left button will take it to the lean left animation, but once we get to the left side, it's gonna toggle between lean left and shoulder left. You can also see pressing the shoulder change button toggles between shoulder right and shoulder left, and if the player is leaning, it toggles between lean right and lean left. If you've played the game APB Reloaded, this might seem familiar to you. The shoulder change in leaning also works with crouching state. To zoom the camera while aiming, I'm simply gonna play the aim animation when we're in the aiming state. And in the not aiming state, I'm gonna play the aim animation backwards. But you'll notice when we run the project, the aim animation plays backwards at the beginning. That's because the backwards aim animation gets called as the player is in the not aiming state initially. Also you can see the aiming speed is really slow. 
but you can see if we go to the aiming state, the camera zooms in and in the middle if we go to the not aiming state, the camera zooms out from the current position. Meaning, changing the aim animation makes the next animation start from the current position and not from the beginning, which is exactly what we need. So to fix the zoom out animation in the beginning, I'm gonna set the speed of the animation player as a very large number, like 50. This way the zoom out animation will happen, but it will be really fast and cannot be seen. I tried other ways to fix this, but this seems like the easiest fix for me. But of course I'm open to suggestions. And here I'm gonna create a new variable called aim speed, and I'm gonna assign that as the playback speed of the cam animation. So you can see the zoom out cannot be seen in the beginning, and the camera zoom also has a good speed. Of course you can change the aim speed in your project. There's another thing I wanna add, which is a lower mouse sensitivity for the aim mode. For that, I'm gonna go to the camera script and make two new variables for horizontal and vertical sensitivity for aiming. And here I'm gonna reference the aim transition node from the animation tree, where zero means aiming and one means not aiming. Here I'm gonna modify these two lines so that when the aim transition is zero, which means aiming, the aim sensitivity will be activated. And when the aim transition is 1, which means not aiming, will go back to the normal sensitivity. And now it works perfectly. One final thing I want to do is, I've noticed when changing the shoulder beside a wall, we can see the other side of the wall for a split second. To fix this, I set the process mode of the cam anim tree as physics, and now it works correctly. So we've created an aiming system with inverse kinematics, camera zoom animation and different camera animations for holster, shoulder and leaning. In the next video I'm gonna add more animations to the player for weapon changing and reloading and I'll make a decent crosshair system which changes with weapon stats. So see you in the next one.